<laughs> All right, Arcaster, of course, hailing from Cal Poly Pomona. This guy has got a lot of uh, characters under his belt. He's got the Palu, he's got a Krom, he's got an Inkling. Uh, so we'll see if he opts to stick with the Palu, depending on the success of this, of course. Right now, off to a good start for himself, getting a few solid hits on Legit. And Legit opting to just try to keep up the pressure as much as possible on uh, Arcaster. I'm assuming, like, he doesn't want to go full range and then have to deal with, like, just getting in against, like, Explosive Flame, Auto Ericle, that sort of stuff. Yes, and I think there's something to be said for, like, letting your opponent hit you for a little bit and just, like, seeing what they do. Yeah. I do, I do that a lot, honestly, and it's probably not, like, optimal in that sense, but it gives you the time to really figure out your opponent and uh, then you can get the download a little bit faster that way. It's, it's honestly, it's, it's advice that's told to like beginning players that's like, it's not, it's like kind of a lie, but it's accurate enough that you tell it to them, which is like, a lot of folks think every time you get hit is a mistake. And right. that's actually just not true. That's, that's a bad mindset to have because it's more about what you learn from getting hit determines whether or not it was a mistake. Like if you find adjustments afterwards and realize how you just condition them because you got hit, then you right. can get so much more in the long term. And like that's why like top players, more often than not, you will see them lose the first stock of a set. But it's because they're learning what the opponent is doing and they're fine losing the initial lead because they have nine whole stocks to get through in some yeah. cases. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, yeah. legit going ahead, evening up the stocks, taking Arcaster to even percents almost. Yeah, I love. Okay, so Diddy's dash attack in this game is so cool. I actually really, really like it. At D dash attacks as combo starters. Smash Four Samus main here. <laughs> <laughs> dash attacks as combo starters in general, I just think are awesome. It, it really reminds me of like an anime fighter launcher, like Marvel vs. Capcom. Right, right. It's, like, it has that same feel because immediately afterwards, you know, Diddy jumps up and keeps her going all the way across the stage. But that being said, I mean, Arcaster's been doing such a good job Ooh. getting legit up in the air and then finding these explosive flames. That hit his pinky toe. <laughs> that, that, that did not look like it connected, but I guess so, man. Game, like, do, game don't lie. Uh, like, Diddy's pinky is, like, even further out than everyone else's. You have to keep that in mind. True. When it comes to the toes. He does have, uh, you know, the, 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 the what are they? Uh, I don't actually know what it's word, called. There's a word, there's a word I'm looking for it. Oh, uh, man. Vestigial? No. No, because that's, he's not a human. No, vestigial means, like, it doesn't. Right. Okay, it doesn't matter. But for us, it is. <laughs> anyway, we got Banana trying to be set up, but Arcaster sees his way right past it, right? Just double jumps right afterwards, pokes Legit in the face, showing I'm not afraid of this. I'm not rolling to deal with this item. Oh, Bad this is bro, dead. Yeah. yeah. That was a really, really risky counter. I mean, if it works, like, he gets the trip on Legit and then, you know, takes it's, advantage. But so there's, like, two schools of thought for, like, good counter usage in my mind, which is, like, you bring it out early to show your opponent this is an option I'm willing to use, so you have to play around it. Right. Or you bring it out very late when they forget that you have a counter and very, you kill them very off late. Yeah. yeah. This might be in that middle area where you don't really want to throw it out just because your opponent's still waiting and seeing what you're doing. But now, now like, that's reinforced for Legit that, oh, yeah, Arcaster counters. So now we might wait even further later down the line. So yeah. And then... Maybe Arcaster can take advantage of that. We'll see. Yeah. Whoa. Footstool in the teleport just taking stage, and this is almost dead even. Legit can he bring it back. Doesn't look like he's got to, like, get back. Th that's the thing right now is that Arcaster has all the momentum. That banana might kind of shift that his way. Yeah, I mean, Diddy, once he does have control of the stage, like, that banana is still really good at keeping people locked down. But Arcaster, once again, just doesn't really need to respect it too much in the corner. He's perfectly at ease, just jumping in the air over it because Palu's air game is so good. Right. It's kind of where she wants to be anyway. Nah, that's going to be it. He made that one mistake jumping over with the Nair. A mm -hmm. uh, little bit of an overcommitment that is not safe on shield. And uh, going to eat the banana for it. A little bit of potassium for it. You could see, like, right afterwards, too, though, like, legit look kind of visibly stressed after that game. It's like, okay, that was really, really close. I'm not... I'm not out of the woods at all because right. of like, he, he essentially just won off that slight little mistake and there's like the whole rest of the set for now Arcaster to adjust and make sure that opening's all sealed up tight. And then what are you gonna do then to find your next opening, right? That's kind of like the puzzle he's gotta figure out now. Yeah, if I'm Arcaster, I'm stressed because there's so many times where a player who uh, you're seated over, you get really, really close to beating them in game one and then you just kind of blow it a little bit. Yeah. And then suddenly all of your momentum is gone. All of your steam is gone. And then like the better player often will like two or three stock you in the next game. So yeah, yeah, we'll, that's we'll see. I mean, he's got to bring it back. The mental break that happens from that. Yeah. Going to be going to Smashville. This is a, I actually feel like this plays to Arcus' strengths really well going from the previous game because he was doing such a great job keeping legit stuck in the air. And, Ar and uh, Smashville is a stage that feels like nothing but corner in the sense that Unless you're under that platform, you're in a bad position. Exactly. You're yeah. either getting sharked or you have nothing behind you to retreat to. And yeah. It's I a think really Arcaster interesting state. Right yeah, it's a really interesting. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Legit taking full advantage this time of the corner. Like uh, earlier, right? Argus was just jumping out of there for free. Yeah. And now it just he's like, okay, you're always jumping, which means I can spike you for that and I'll kill you. Yeah. He got time. that. He got the soft hit nair into it. And 
That's just such a beautiful confirm. Mm. I love that Diddy's Nair is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As like, I, it was good in Smash 4, but now it's, like, good, good. It's proper important in his kit. Yeah, like, a main part of his combo game is dash attack and Nair. Ooh! Ooh. It keeps the chase going right afterwards, but solid stuff coming out from Legit immediately. It's kind of just like what you said, Slub, right? Like, the first game with that top player is, like, so close, yep. and then, like, suddenly the next game feels like a complete body bag. Okay, good on Argusur, keeping his head clear, getting up into the banana, and just getting up calmly. Uh-oh, re-grab. Goes for the forward tilt, doesn't do the down tilt. Maybe was reading a high recovery there. Legit not reacting to the fact that he got that down tilt. Yeah, yeah, He, like, yeah. didn't believe in himself <laughs> to get that down tilt at all. Sometimes, you know, you just back off. Whoa. Oh, that ended up working beautifully. Did Catch he do normal get up? No, I think he jumped and tossed the banana. No, I mean, did Arcaster normal get up after he got tripped? Uh, I didn't even see any get up animation. I think he just got smashed. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, man, but Arcaster able to take that first stock finally. We'll see if he can... You know, bring that momentum back into his favor. What the heck? He just forward air Palutena out of Nair in the middle of it? It's a, actually a pretty fast move. That's kind of surprising, though, to see. And it's it's a it's a sign that's a little bit scary to see for the Palutena, yeah. right? Like, ordinarily, oh. the, taking them around the bus, but there we go. Once again, the same thing that took the first stock. Going to go ahead and dunk right there in the corner again. And that's like an option that we didn't see legit even have on his mind in the first game. Right. And especially like as he starts to think more about that ledge positioning, especially because none of the banana tri uh, tricks are working, just finding another way entirely to get his opening to get his kills. Yeah, man. So like I said, like sometimes you lose that momentum yeah. from that first game, and then just like pfft, the second game, like it almost just like you phone it in or something like that. It's, it, it's so rough it, to it see. Get, it gets hard. And so, but I mean, seriously, game one, Arkister played great. Yeah. He played so, so well. Um, and then he just made that one mistake at the end where he went for the Nair that was unsafe. And he, like, I think he, like, crossed himself up. Like, he w he was behind him where Diddy isn't able to really yeah. do too much. And he was crossing up the shield because of yeah. the momentum. Or and I think he had banana in hand. Did, I mean, Diddy had banana. Yeah, yeah. Which, okay. So, which the, meant so, yeah, it didn't matter where he went. So, you just needed to not Nair on a shield there. Mm. Yeah. But, hey, legit takes it. Diddy Kong moving forward. Congo Saga bracket. It's important. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's they're, an important thing. They're absent. It's, it's really just been Diddy Kong that's been winning. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it will uh, King Killa won as well with uh, K rule. So we do we do have uh, right. more Donkey Kong representation, and of course Raido just won with Banjos. You know what? Never mind. I think it's just Donkey Kong that's cursed yeah, right I now. I mean DK sucks, so <laughs> <laughs> feels so bad. He's like he's the headliner of the DK crew, yeah. and right now he's being carried by like his his bandmates, which I guess that's that's how you know you got a good band. But like, the front man's got to do something. Sure, sure. But hey, hopefully we'll have some matches.